Welcome to another video, A Walk With Phil. And today I'm in Wensbury. And what I thought I'd do is take a walk from the top of, the, of High Bullen through down Warsaw Street and along the Wood Green Road, which ends up near the motorways at the very bottom. So let's take a look, shall we? I'm here in uh, Warsaw Street. Just thought I'd take a look at this. It was Wensbury's last cinema, the Gormant. You can still see the actual wording, Gormant etched in the brickwork at the very top if you look carefully. There was talk that this could be turned into a, another cinema again, but so far it doesn't look as though that's going to happen. Yeah, it's got Lloyd Banks here. Take a look down here, the side of the old cinema. It does look as though there was something going on, but um, it does look as though now work seems to have stopped on turning this back into a cinema. Right, we've got a few shops here on the right, but mainly they're just... Oh, there's a tanning salon, there's some estate agents, a couple of estate agents here. And uh, there's a charity here at the end of this row. And if you look over to our left, there's some very old houses just over there. Uh, now taken over by accountants and we've got Squires Walk up the top there. And just over there on the, on the head of me, on the left, you've got Churchill's Bar and Restaurant. That used to be the, the Conservative Club. I'm not sure when it actually stopped being the Conservative Club, but it is still open and it's still being used and it's a bar and restaurant now and you've got the Wensbury Library next to it. Just down to my right here is Springhead. Springhead, I presume named after a well of some sort. A big old house on the corner there, just the head. Big car park here, but there used to be houses here on the corner. I don't know Wensby too well, um, but I think this there used to be some big old houses. I believe it used to be here on the car park. Yeah, there's Wensby Library there on the corner. It's a very busy road, Wood Green Road. I think we're still on Warsaw Road at the moment. Just take a look over to the left there. We've got the cenotaph, Wensby cenotaph. Quite a wide area where the cenotaph is with benches and uh, the names of the dead from this area during the world wars it's a large area of reflection very all landscaped just there on the left also where you've got some of these um, elderly residences just here on the left there used to be a row of shops along there yeah, there was a chemist at the end where the privet is and uh, there was an off license yeah and just through here to my right here used to be the site of a hall Oakswell hall um not not really it, the, the house itself was here for quite a few a few hundred years but um it was demolished in around 1962 um for reasons unknown but it used to have a supply of natural spring water. And if we just have a look over here, I think there is a well. Well, I do remember it uh, years ago. I'm not sure if it's still here. Let's have a look. You can't really tell now. The... No, it's all dried up and gone now, but the, that used to be the Oaks well. Yeah, it's all grated over and, and the water appears no longer to run. On that spring but these are all elderly residences now this particular area but once it was graced by a very large all Oakswell all but now sadly long gone okay let's continue down here this is still Warsaw Road just over there is the something called the Oakswell coach house as uh, so there was a um, I'm not sure if there was a shop there called Minitz, unless that was it there with a the white door, but it was a, a very old fashioned um, ladies clothing store. As you can see, it's got black and white frontages. You've got an accountant there, and uh, yeah, we've got another barber's there. I mean, that's the, 
That must be one of many in Wensbury Town Centre. There's Pritchard Street. Just take care of a look at Pritchard Street. Big furniture store there. Big furniture store on the right. I've, I've only ever known that is a furniture store. And you've got the parking. Sadly, the parking is no longer a pub. Not sure how long it's been closed. Uh, but um, here we've got Oxwell Street down there. Uh, here on Kendrick Street. And all where all these new houses are. And where all those new houses there on the right. This was the site of um, of, um, of Sunwell College. Uh, one of three that used to be here in Wensbury. So there was two sections. These are the original railings left from the college. Kendrick Street. Yeah, there was two sides to the college. There's this, the one on my left, and there was the other one just over there on my right. Just ahead on my left there is a petrol garage, yes sir. Uh, but just as we approached um, the junction here, on the left there was, a, there was another pub. There's the Wood Green Road. I guess had about four or five, at least half a dozen maybe pubs along this stretch. And one of them here was on the corner. This was the site of the castle pub. If anybody remembers the castle here on Windmill Street. Windmill Street was so called because right at the very top there was indeed a windmill, but it must have been a very long time ago. Just over there on my right, ahead of me, where all these uh, arches are. That building used to be the unemployment exchange, or then becoming the job centre. And it's now currently used as a driving test centre, there on the corner of Knoll Street. Very big building. This property here on ahead of me used to be where they'd made gravestones. It also became a gardening centre. And it's, as you can see it was called the Old Stone Yard. Now it's a cafe. How much is a bacon, egg and sausage sandwich? Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, £3.20. Yeah. Now I'm not sure anybody remembers this, but just over there where you can see a metal gate and left to it, left of that is a, a wall, but that used to be a site of, um, of a cafe. Long demolished now, back in the 70s. Some big old houses along Wood Green Road now, as you can see. Bit of work going on and over there. Okay, to ahead of me, just on the right there, we come to Brunswick Park. Brunswick Park was created for the Victorian Jubilee in 1887. And uh, there's uh, Foley Street just there and the Sons of Rest building just on the corner. And just take a look up here. This is Vicar Street. And Vicar Street is because there's a, a church of some sort just up there on the left. Yeah, Brunswick Park. Now, you, it's, it's recently had all its railings returned, but because of the war, Second World War, all the original railings were removed uh, to make munitions for the, in the war effort, but now it's, uh, they've all been restored. I think it might have been in the 90s, but I'm only guessing it was somewhere around there anyway. But, but look at all these trees here in the park. Some, some lots of very mature trees here in Brunswick Park. Quite a big park actually. Got a little corner plot there called the Coach House. And this road is called Clarkson Road. We'll have a walk up Clarkson Road I think. Clarkson Road is one of these roads that will lead you over into the Mywood area of Wensbury and it takes you away from the noise of the main road, Wood Green Road. There's a very big old house here called Hillsborough 
and again it's one of these properties that doesn't look as though it's been lived in now it used to be a doctor's surgery an infamous doctor called Dr Hammett only those people who lived in Wensby would know Dr Hammett he used to appear on television quiz shows I believe okay so yeah so a lot of terrace, old terrace properties up there as we look up Longcroft Avenue. The reason why I'm going along this road, I'll show you, there's a pub just at the end of this road, of Clarkson Road, and it was said to have been visited by Dick Turpin, the infamous highway robber. There's a public footpath just down there, look, just between the houses. Yeah, there you go, look, that one takes you down to the park, Brunswick Park. Yeah, this used to be a, a scaffolding yard here on the corner. I don't know what it is now, it says something to do with Prime Electrical Solutions, Business Centre. There's Calden House, old people's home. Or should we say elderly person's home? Yeah, okay, so... Just there, ahead of me, you can see it was an old shop. Someone after, if anybody knows of the name of this shop, then it would be nice to see it in the comment section. But yeah, this used to be a shop. It was a grocery store run by an elderly couple. Yeah, it's been long. It's been closed a long time ago, but as you can see, it's still got the frontage. And yes, we, here is the oldest pub in Wensbury. It's called the Ye Old Leather and Bottle. Yeah, and it is said that uh, Ye yeah, Dick Turpin came, came here. It used to have some sign on the frontage to say that, but I don't know anymore. But yeah, well, there's the Leather and Bottle. It's, it's dated from about the 1500s, I believe. Let's have a cross over the road and we can have a, a better view of it. There you go. The leather and bottle. Picture postcard pub, isn't it? Okay, there's Hanley Street ahead of me. You just notice along uh, Vicarage Road here, a lot of these houses here got these big rockery style rocks for their walls rather than normal brick a lot of, a lot, it's all, all along here yeah that looks a very old type structure there there on my right there Ooh, look who would have thought it, it may have been dated back to the days when they had stables as you can see there was a, a door up there to put the hay through yeah it could have been some kind of stabling back in the day Okay, so we, we're coming to the end of Vicarage Road here in Wensbury. Ahead of me, we've got the Wood Green Cemetery. Yeah, just have a quick look here in, the, in Wood Green Cemetery. Just ahead of me there, where that green patch of grass is there, that was, that was the site of the chapel. Uh, I think it got bombed during the war. Yeah. Just over there, there was a couple of big houses there. And now it's called the Wood Green Nursing Home. There's one or two of those down here, I believe. And uh, there's, there's a couple of large semi detached properties over there. And I would imagine they've got some very good sound insulation. It's so noisy. Just imagine we're doing this on a Sunday. There's some new recently built properties there on the corner. I don't know what was there before. And uh, this is the, the this is a quite a small area really uh, just ahead of me where it was the site of four pubs and uh, 
very unusual to have so many in such a short area unless you go to Oldry Town Centre but um, we've got the first one here which is a Grade 2 listed building the Horse and Jockey but inside there they have a ceramic bar apparently there's only 14 of such bars in the whole of the country there's Hobbs Road there on the corner and you see we're all these new houses there as well that was the site of a yet another pub which was called The Cottage. It was The Cottage. Just look down there, this is Ruth Street. Now there's some very old terrace properties. There's a quite a lot of those in Wensbury. And uh, just here by this bus stop ahead of, to my, well, to ahead of me now is another elderly person's home. It's the, the shrubbery. This one's called the Shrubbery Rest Home. It's been there for quite some time now. If you go through their entrance there, called Grove Dove Close, there's some new properties there, and that was the site of another... Uh, just, ahead, just ahead of me there was the site of another... Uh, ...college. It was the... Managerial College, the Management College, where you'd learn your management studies and accountancy, that kind of thing. Yeah, another college that's been that had been demolished a long time ago. Uh, but we've got some nice houses in this place. And there's the site of the Wensbury Tennis Club just over there, and also the Wensbury Cricket Club. It also has a gym over the back. Yeah, the Wensbury, Wensbury Tennis Club has been there, in fact, since 1903. You can just see the pavilion just, uh, just over there on the horizon, beyond the trees. Just over there, where a lot more new houses were built, is John Fletcher Close. Bit of a mare if you wanted to come out of that road and turn right to go up here, this is Brunswick Park Road. This road will take you to the rear of Brunswick Park. And also down here, you can just make out there, there's the Queen's Head pub. Hopefully that's still trading, because that was another pub that's been there a long time. We also come to another pub, that you, this, the pub number three that used to be in this small area. We had the horse and jockey in the cottage, or cottage spring. This one used to be called the Star. Uh, it's now um, a Nepalese, Indian and British fine dining restaurant. Uh, it hasn't been the Star for quite some time. Yes, it wasn't a very big pub in there. It was a, it was a nursery here, playhouse for kids. Uh, here is another, the fourth pub in this small area, just as the Woodman. And you can see now it's Casimir's. Um, again, it's one of these. I'm unsure whether it's still trading or not, but it's a very, it's a, it's a Grade Two listed building. Yeah. Uh, we just pan round. And just over there, yeah, there's a, another residential care home. That used to be one as well. I think they all the residential care homes all along there. Portland House, I think that white building used to be. It was a was a school a very, very long time ago. And this is St Paul's Road. I'm not, I'm not sure, but up St Paul's Road, I could swear there was a company called Spear and Jackson that made garden tools used to be up there. Yeah, and just ahead of me there is St Paul's Church. St, Ch St Paul's Church was built in uh, 1874 uh, by the Elwell family, who were, who were owners of a Wensbury Forge not far from here and just here is the school the Wood Green Academy and for a change the clock is correct and if I just pan you back over to to the to up Wood Green Road you can see that's where we've come from and there again is St Paul's this is the Stuart Bathurst Catholic School just here on my left If we have a look over here, 
This is one of the largest areas of retail development that there was in Sandwell and we had KFC was built there and there's a lot of eateries that were constructed uh, plus of course we had Curry's that was up there that was the largest electrical store in Europe and I Ikea is way over in the distance but this most of the site was of uh, FH Lloyd's a huge uh, tank turret factory and uh, that closed back in the early 80s and the site was then given over to retail and if we look, just look over to the right there you can see this road now to well, green it, it kind of terminates at the end there by the island because we've got the motorway the M6 and the M5 and you can see why it's so busy because that's where they nearly all go to but if you go on through the island you, you can see there it's uh, you do go into Warsaw okay then folks so We'll call it today. We've walked uh, all along the Wood Green Road here in Wensbury. It's a very, it's a very historical sort of road, and uh, uh, but but the one thing about it, of course, it's extremely busy, and it has been busy for ever since the Wood Green Road has been constructed. So really, there isn't much to complain about. But anyway, hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit the like button and also hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.